Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. With prices soaring at the pump, filling up can be stressful. That's why Discover has your back with cash back. Use Discover to earn 5% cash back at gas stations and Target, now through June, on up to $1,500 in purchases when you activate. We know every dollar matters right now, but you can count on us. Get up to $75 cash back this quarter with your Discover It card. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash rewards. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. The Miami Heat have added a new component to their COVID screening process. Release the virus sniffing dogs. How about this? I guess <laughs> Finland's Helsinki airport has been using these detection dogs and they say they have an accuracy level of nearly 100 percent. Even five days before actual symptoms appear, these dogs can tell really you got COVID going on. Well, I mean, you hear about the stories of dogs that can, like that that people have as service dogs that can notice if uh, someone's about to have like a seizure, mm-hmm. and they can pick up on that stuff. And a lot of like people get those type of service dogs. And I always thought that was just such an incredible thing that they could pick up on that. Well, yeah, they can tell within ten seconds if you got COVID, and uh, they got a video uh, uh, on their website about the whole thing. Safety, it is our number one priority here at the American Airlines Arena, and it is why we've implemented a number of new measures to create the safest possible environment for heat games, including an innovative, effective testing method to screen all fans, COVID-19 detection dogs. So what can you expect come game day? You'll be directed to the screening area and asked to put any in-hand items in your pockets and place your hands at your sides. At that time, a COVID-19 detection dog will screen everyone in line by simply walking past each person. If you or someone in your group are not signaled by the dog, you will all be permitted to proceed with the arena's standard entry process. However, if a dog signals on you by sitting down, you and your group will be directed out of line and denied entry into the arena. For more information on detection dogs or any other COVID-19 related measure here at the arena, visit heat.com. And then they step a big C on your head so you can't try and go to a different ticket. Here. <laughs> and I'm seeing a video that showed the dog sitting down in front of some dude, which means that dude has COVID. What if the dog just gets tired of standing and just sits down for a second? Well, then you've got COVID. You know what? If I was going with a group of people and I like, or I knew some people there, I'm like, oh, those people are annoying there in front of us. I'd be like, hey, look. Whatever the dog spot, he spot sit. Spot sit. <laughs> <laughs> the dog sit in trouble. <laughs> they got COVID. Yeah, that's get him uh, off the line. That's why we can't use this as a foolproof situation. Anybody from <laughs> any other team. You guys just broke this because uh, yeah, yeah, right. you'll, yeah. You'll be you'll be using it in the locker rooms. You'll be using it against the Patrick Mahomes. Go, oh yeah, you know what? He, he's not as a concussion, but he's got COVID. The dog sat down. I mean, that's just insane though that the dogs could pick up on that stuff. And if I was like a group of people though, I'd be like, hey guys. I'm, I'm not going to sit next to you guys. I'm going to pretend I'm going without. Because what if one of you guys gets flagged for COVID, but no one else has it? Yeah. Then well, you're all screwed. You're still hanging with me, though? I, I want some you point, to go. I don't want to be around you then. Yeah. But here's the thing. You're probably still going to get checked. Even though you still might, you know, you'll go to the game. But then you're going to go to the game, maybe infect somebody no, else because you were hanging I'm with me, joking. you little jerk. Hey, BJ, would you Don't leave me out in the cold, Steve. What if they were like, if you get a COVID dog, you could travel and go to conventions and stuff again. Would you get a dog? Would that make you a dog lover? 
Oh, I see what you're trying to do. No, I'm, I only want the dog to work for me. Then somebody else take care of it. Oh. I mean, the dog, I can't. I don't think it dog. works that way. Like, he's going to walk around with a COVID dog and be like, clearly I don't have COVID. My dog is a COVID yeah, dog. Yeah, he's not sitting down. Yeah. Eh, I'm spitballing here. You can... Yeah, it's not a good spitball. You're just trying to get me to get a dog. Nice try, Dan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, uh, try, try your really trolling like somewhere else. Well, I need a troll dog because that way it would sit right in your head. Oh, with like the hair? Yeah. Exactly. Well, what if it would be great, though, if like, like, someone's going to a game, the dog sits, like, sir, you're in trouble, or, or a sniffing dog, and then you like you have COVID. Like, oh, good. I, I was smuggling heroin, too. I, I'm glad that the dog didn't pick that part up. <laughs> just, just picked up the whole COVID yeah, part. Yeah, I mean, they, they do have those guys. <laughs> My question is this, is that this would be a solution that would work. If it works, why are we, why are we not doing this, like, I, everywhere? Dude, if it works, I would not be surprised to see more venues doing something like this. Unless they don't Airports. have the, maybe they don't have the dogs. Or they, uh, but I would be investing in this like a son of a gun. Uh, it's, but I mean, I don't know what we think of Helsinki if we consider those folks to be legitimate with what they've been doing, but they've been doing it at their airport. I mean, that's you can employ all the dogs there in, in uh, uh, like you know, and, and like places where like, like the foster places and stuff. Oh, I see. If dogs that need a home, if you can train them, what a great idea! This is like the X Men. I love this kind of a thing, but for dogs. Oh, the, school for gifted dogs. Yeah, the Sea Dogs. Okay, the Sea Dogs. Huh. Hmm. No, I don't know if that works. Uh, you know. The, the well, the, the what is this? What's the C stand for? Uh, I was going to say the COVID acid. dogs. What do you oh, think the, the C COVID stands dog. for? <laughs> okay, all right, I like boosters. Uh, the C dogs. <laughs> all right. Um, it is. It's odd to me that we haven't looked into this to the point that we could have figured this out and maybe maybe we get things started sooner. I don't know why, unless we don't have enough dogs. Unless I haven't even thought of this. I mean, because you know, someone said, "Hey, guys, I was thinking." Why don't we get dogs to sniff people out for COVID? I bet a lot of people are like, that's just stupid. Even though we've seen stories, and even one person says, hey, dogs can smell cancer. They can. They exactly. Can. Yeah. So it's been out there. Even you made that connection. So come on. You mean to tell me there hasn't been a smart enough person to make the connection? And even though they might have been shouted down, that someone said, no, moron, look, they do this, they do this. Of course they can do this. Yeah. Wow. That's bad. That's bad if we got a lot of dogs that could do this and we haven't been using it. I don't now, know. If we're gonna have a dog at a venue, I hope that they're gonna like dress the dog up as a fan. You know, oh, like, of course, yeah. You're gonna like, put him, the, you know, have it like wear like a Seahawks jersey outside of Century Link Field or Lumen Field. Yeah, dress him like Blitz. Oh, yeah. What Maybe if, we train Blitz. We train Blitz to be a, a uh, COVID sniffing mascot. mascot. A co- yes, a COVID sniffing right. eagle. Yeah, or our Seahawk. He's not an eagle. He's a Seahawk. Yeah, we get a COVID. <laughs> uh, yeah, we get him to be a COVID sniffing <laughs> Seahawk. Maybe the hawk that we fly around, maybe the hawk could just come down and take a dump on the people that got COVID. Oh, is that how wow. it works? So dogs sit, birds poop on you. Exactly. Let's train all the animals. They say if a bird poops on you, it's good luck. If you have COVID, it's bad luck. Oh, yeah. All right. Then I'm afraid the rest of us are going to have to get pooped on. Who's, is that what yeah, you're saying? Who says that it's good luck if a bird poops on you? I know. That's an old Someone who got pooped on by a bird, I think. That's okay. how it started. <laughs> Somebody from Seattle that tried to do, look at it half half full. You know uh, how I've been is. hearing that since I grew up as a kid. I know, but I'm saying somebody had to come up with it who was a silver lining person. Because there's no reason you, when you get pooped on that you're going to get, oh, great luck. What if they won the lottery after they got pooped on by yeah. a bird? I'm like, you know what? If we can find that one person that won the lottery after getting pooped on by the bird, then we know the origin of that whole ridiculous wives' tale. Oh, it comes from Russian superstition, which is based on the rare odds of actually being pooped on by a bird. Oh. Well, it's rare that I would get hit by a train, but no one ever gets hit by a train. They're like, wow, that's that's actually good luck, sir. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you can walk away from getting a little poo on you. This is why, you know what? This is why we're at war with Russia, sort of. <laughs> oh, this is why. <laughs> yeah, sort because, of. Because their, their axioms make no sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've but never... what about the dog poop one? They also say if you step in dog poop, it's good luck. Oh. Who said that? The guy that they. pretty much doesn't want to clean they. up their dog poop? They said it. It's the guy who doesn't want to clean up his dog poop that says that. It is not lucky because I end up throwing all the dog poop from my neighbor. Sorry, I'm really triggered by this because my neighbor's dog has been pooping all over my area, my house. And I, I guess just... so because you're happy with bird poop but not dog poop. Fling it at them. I have been flinging it at their house. Oh, I get to see <laughs> That's a mature way to do it, right? <laughs> That's the only way you Vicky's, do it. Okay, Vicky's you. behaving like a monkey in a zoo. I love this. Let's yes. go. Let's go watch. I got a pooper scooper and I just fling it over at their house. All righty then. Yeah, that sucks when the... Yeah, see, now you know my dream. You guys made fun of me when I had troubles with my neighbor who let his dog poop in my yard. And I'm like, what are you doing? Can't you figure this out? Oh, someone has a good name from. They could be called the COVID Hounds. COVID oh, hounds. Like that. The COVID yeah. hounds of justice. Mick oh, that sounds a little menacing. We'll call them McSniff. We got McGruff. Call them McSniff. The, cry, the, the COVID hounds. The COVID dogs. I love it. The sniffer doodles. The sniffer doodles. I don't know. Okay. No? No? Hey, man, we got some bad news, BJ. What happened? I just saw, uh, the rev sent me the link. I just saw this. Uh, Hank Aaron just passed away. Oh, Hammer and Hank. years old. 
Whoa. Well, I mean, 86, I mean, that's a good run. Yeah, it's still sad. Uh, it's, it's amazing. A lot of folks that aren't baseball fans, and we talk about race being an important thing, uh, that guy had to deal with it big time because, you know, when he broke Babe Ruth's home run record, it was not a fun time for him. Many people Dude, were massively racist against him. He was, was getting over. death threats. Yeah. You like, I mean, nowadays, you don't even like, I mean, well, there's obviously idiots in the world no matter what, but at that time, I guess it was like just a ridiculous amount of death threats. Could you imagine being Hank Aaron? You're about to break Babe Ruth's record with home runs. Every time you step up to the plate thinking something bad might happen if I do this, but I'm still going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the, the courage that people like him had are just amazing. And um, but an, uh, what, what a fantastic ball player. I argue that, you know, I he did it without any steroids. He did it without anything at all. I mean, that guy legitimately broke the record as opposed to some of the other players that I really don't recognize because they had juice in their system, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, because he held that record up until, until the steroid era, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. With what, like, so, was it? Sosa or Mag- who? Well, the record? I forget. I was it Barry remember. Bonds that actually broke the, the, the record of how many home runs? Like, right. well, it's you're talking once per season, and I don't know if H- Hank ever had the season holding record of gotcha. home runs, but he did beat Babe Ruth for the most home runs. Hit Barry in a Bonds career. now has it. Yeah. yeah, but Barry Bonds now has that record, and I just think it's massively tainted. I, you know, I really, and and part of it is sixty-two yeah. home runs Hank Aaron had in his career. Yeah, that's a lot. And you know, you wonder if they had it because one thing about steroids, it not only you know pumps you up, but it also allows you to heal quicker. And there are players that you know would probably not have been able to come back and play the game as effectively as long as they did without that steroid use, which is one of the things that we look at Ken Griffey Jr. And, you know, Jr., you know, what if, what could he have been if he took steroids? He would have been able to play longer and much more effectively. That's what people don't like about the steroid guys. And ha- Henry Aaron didn't have that. He just naturally played as long as he could, hit all those home runs. Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank, uh, 86 years old, passed away today. That's a true legend when it comes to baseball. He was one of my favorite players growing up. I, I, I did a book report on him in school. I loved baseball. I loved Hank. Uh, I didn't know at the time my family hated me because of that, because I had no idea that some people in my family were racist, and I didn't know that's why they were mad at me for some of the players that I liked. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I don't know. I like a player that's good. Hank Aaron seems to be really good. And they're like, you're crazy. He's no Babe Ruth. I go, actually, he's going to be better than yep. Babe Ruth. And, oh, my BJ God. BJ digs the long ball. I dig the long ball. Well, RIP, Hank. You, uh, you were a class act, and you made the sport a ton better. That's a fact. Well, here's a question for you. Would you wear a wristband that you would let you... Uh, let your boss know if you're in a good mood or a bad mood. Would you wear a wristband that would give that information out to your boss? All right, well, we're going to talk about this new invention at 817 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. Everything is better electrified like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first-ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Hello, Discover here. To explain our cash back match, here's how it works. We give you cash back for using your Discover card on the things you were going to buy anyway. Then we match that cash back in your first year. And that's why we call it cash back match. Now to recap and say cash back one more time. We match all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year automatically. Discover, exceptionally common sense. Learn more at discover.com slash match. Limitations apply. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. This next story is really going to illustrate, I believe, just how the socially awkward have found a way to communicate. Okay. 
because um, I don't know what else to do to explain this device. It's a, a device called Mood Beam, and that's mood like, you know, what kind of mood are you in? Uh, mood Beam is a wristband that lets your boss know how you're feeling. See, you laugh. Vicky goes, huh. See, it's well, a I, I generation. I can save right myself there. some money. It's like, you want to know how I'm feeling? I'll show you. If I show you the, the bird, that means I'm not in a good mood. There you go. <laughs> That's my mood beam. <laughs> hey, you're number one, boss. All right. Uh, Rev, what do you think of the mood beam? It, it, basically, I'm okay with it in just terms of like, don't ask me that dumb question and let me do my work. Yeah, but you, this one here, here's what it is, man. It's got two buttons. It's got a yellow button and it's got a blue button. It's very, you know, it should have a red button and a blue button so it oh, can feel like the Matrix. Like Matrix. Here, here's what it looks like. It just kind of almost looks like a white Fitbit. Yeah, and you're supposed to hit the yellow one when you're happy and the blue one when you're not, you know, because I'm feeling blue. Feeling blue. Yeah, uh, this way. What if I'm worried that if I hit the yellow one, it's like I'm suffering from jaundice? <laughs> Yes, yes, what? that that will be a thing. You what? Don't about it. Does it make your skin yellow or something? What? It's, it what? does, yes. Thank you. Would it be bad? Well, jaundice like- makes your skin yellow. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, so I'm hitting the yellow button. I'm not feeling I, I have jaundice. <laughs> I think they can tell if your skin's yellow already. I mean, All right, good point. I'd be a smart ass about it. So, like, if clock out is at 6 o'clock, at 6.01, I'd just be hitting the yellow button. Like, I'm happy, 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 happy. Oh, just that would be funny. the boss. So, what's the hope? Is, like, the boss will treat you differently if you hit the certain buttons? Like, they'll be nicer to you if you hit the, the blue button? Because if, if that's the case, I'm just going to hit the blue button all the time. In a pissy mood, boss. Yeah, pissy right? Mood. Okay, so perhaps you guys aren't the best people to actually use the mood beam it's here it's 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 here so the company can keep an eye on your mental health here's a little more info about it we know feeling connected is everything to you right now so rest assured as mood beam gives meaning to remote management from day one if your company is one that cares about the well-being of its workers you'll already know that engaged teams are everything if your company is to thrive in these difficult and ever-changing times I can see from the Mood Beam dashboard that it's been a challenging week for some of you. Um, but I've got some ideas that I'd like to run through that I think might help. Mood Beam keeps teams connected, gives them a voice, and lets you know how they're feeling every day. A real driver for change, it brings awareness, supports organisational change, and promotes positive engagement. I like that music. Well, the oh, music's right. I'm hitting the blue button because of the music. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay, so they have a dashboard. That's interesting because I'll, all I would do is I would coordinate with everyone who has one, and we would just make like a little rave on his computer. So you just blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. yellow. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's what Rev would do. Steve would just give them the finger. Vicky's like, I'm hmm. Danny, uh, Mood Beam, what do you think? If I had to sit that example of like, okay, everyone, I see from our stats. <laughs> right. You're on a Zoom the meeting the, and they say something like that. Or like, yeah, they're like, we're going to have a special Friday meeting every week to talk about the mood beam. And with the stats, I'd be like, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, I don't want it to come to work anymore. I'd be like, where's the shut the F up button? On yeah. This? Like, which one do I hit for that? Because exactly. this is stupid. Where's the, this could have been an email button because that's right? what I need to press all the time. Imagine getting like, go, showing up to work and your boss op- like pulls out a box and says, here, I've got these. <laughs> for all of you guys and their wristbands and this is what he wants you to wear See, I feel she. I feel the socially awkward would be all over this but yeah me where I feel like I'll just talk to somebody if you're socially awkward I feel like hey just hit me up over email if you're not feeling all that hot yeah. that's even tough for people to do if they're socially awkward to make any sort of communication that they're unhappy or talk about their feelings not an easy thing for a lot of people to do but you know email but won't they then be weird about it with the wristband like if they're like worried then they'd be like I'm happy I swear I'm totally happy ignore the tears coming out of my eyes yeah it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to know if this is just showing that an employee is unhappy or if it's you specifically that you know what I mean because the way she talked about it was like I'm seeing a lot of folks were unhappy last week so I don't know if her dashboard gives her if there's anonymity or if in fact you know like she's got 20 employees and she sees one of 15 of her 20 employees are sad but she doesn't know which ones are she just knows a bunch of them are so sad so during the zoom meeting she's going to be like who's unhappy I, I see yeah. 15 of you are yeah, I don't. I, I don't, don't know if this is. I, I mean, some things you just don't need to have. Yeah, is it a bad <laughs> idea or is it just we are not the right people for it? I don't know. Why can't we just go? If you're unhappy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah. Okay. Is that's that what as, you're, that's yeah. as effective as this thing. Really, okay. you're spending All money right. on this. Someone said I would try and get them to change colors. Uh, change colors on my employees. Oh, that'd be fun. Like, let me see if I can make them all blue. <laughs> oh, hack <laughs> start yelling yeah. at everyone. <laughs> yeah, just hack it. Hack, yeah, it's, why? Why is Freddie always sad? Ten out of ten, got them all to go blue. <laughs> or if you get the crankiest guy in the office, but they're always happy, like that can't be right. Jimmy hates everything. 
Uh, Joe, Sarah, I'm thumbs up or thumbs down with the mood beam? It thumbs is down. Thumbs two down. thumbs down. Oh, yeah. nobody likes this thing. No, it's, it's stupid. Oh, that's yeah. why. Yeah. And this yeah. is we have a multi generational room now. We don't really represent you know Z's a whole lot, but. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, pretty much represent everybody else. I thought this was going to be a little bit more sophisticated. Like, it was going to measure your blood pressure. So if a meeting, like, all the blood pressures are spiking, everyone's mm-hmm. freaking out, they know, oh, everyone's stressed out at this meeting. Let's figure yeah, it out. Yeah, you'll get this to is- Everybody's heart's racing. Yeah. That's the next generation, Vicky. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, the, the oh, movie yeah, two is going to When they upgrade it, yeah. yeah. If that's the case, if it goes on like heart rate, they'll be like, someone's asleep. It's probably Steve. His, his, his oh, yeah. beam is going very slow. Yeah, he's 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 passed out again. One person says, who's happy at work anyway? That's, I mean, yeah, the, the different levels of happiness. I think all of us would much rather be not working, but, you know, I'm kind of pretty happy to work. And then lunchtime hits, and then everyone's happy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, unless you got triggers like me and you're trying to avoid food, then I'm not happy. I'm, I, I hate food time because I'm trying not to eat it. Oh. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, hey, where's my mood beam? Mm. I'm sad. Oh, your mood beam plays music. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Do you have any happy music for me, or do you just have the Imperial March? I probably just have the Imperial March from Star Wars. That's when I'm the happiest. When I'm just like, da, 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 da. I think I have something that make you happy. All right, what's this? Oh, no, you don't. Hey! <laughs> Makes me happy. I'm the Nick, the donkey. Pressing yeah. yellow on Pressing my yellow right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's there's seven yellows and one blue in here. Yeah. If that's not working, come with this. Yeah. yeah, here's a donkey punch for you. No. That's it. Lovely. That's great. Well, any any reason to play that song? Yeah. In January. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a song that should be played year round. Is really? it really? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Well, I know you think a lot of things, so we'll just let we'll let that stay. Or we right. go back to the old hyper color shirts, and they, they, they oh, read like your so your cool. energy from your body. And if like you're in a bad mood, the shirt turns red. If you're in a good mood, the shirt right. turns. I guess yellow is the international color for happy. I don't understand that one either. I, I uh, well, sunshine maybe. I don't know sunshine. Oh, okay, um, yeah, yeah, maybe that's the only thing I can think of. And God knows why. Um, but that's where we are, I guess. We'll see if this thing works or if, in fact, it's a big joke like we all think it is. And then when you fire the person, do you have to be like, hey, um, we're going to need the wristband back? <laughs> it's like, well, hold on. Let me press it blue first when you fired me. I know. It's so ridiculous sometimes, some of the things we do. But- I get the sentiment. And I understand what they're, they're trying to do. I mean, I understand, like, you want to make people feel comfortable at work. and You want to be able to address things if things aren't going well. But I feel like this is one of those things where, you're, okay, you did we really need this invented? And I don't know if it's pandemic based because it's like if you can you read the room if you're really good you look in you look at your team and see how they're doing or maybe some people aren't that good at that. Now if you're remote like a lot of people are maybe they do need that just to see like what are the spirits of my team since we're not all getting together but I think we can all guess the spirits are probably not the greatest. Right? I mean, you got to homeschool your kids. You're working from your house. You're getting interrupted all the time. I don't know. Some people think it's great. Uh, but if you don't have your own dedicated place you can go to in your house where you will not mm-hmm. be bothered to do your job, i got to be thinking it's miserable to have to work from home. Well, I saw some people, some of my friends, that post on Facebook. You just see, like they're just posting pictures of them looking happy because their kids are going back to school. And they're just yes. like, this is like, I've never been more happy to see my child leave our house. Oh, yeah. It's been a beating. I mean, the, the kids are home, but then you you also have to help in the education of them. Right. They're not, oh. not going to pick up on the whole idea of like, hey, I know I'm here, but technically I'm at work, so please leave me alone. Yeah, they never. my, my wife never picked up on that. Oh, yeah. Never. I tried doing stuff at home. I was like, this is the biggest mistake I ever made was having a home office. <laughs> it, this was the dumbest thing in the world. I would say when that door shut. Pretend I am not. You can't get me. When this door shuts, so does your mouth. Oh. Hey. Hey. No. But I mean, like, (laughs) pretend you could, like, I'm at work, which means you really couldn't just come in and ask me if I wanted, if I needed toilet paper. You wouldn't even ask me, because this was the days before we even had texting. Right. It didn't matter. She came in, hey, what do you think? I'm like, I think I'm working. That's what I think. Thanks. Thank you. So there's uh, there's a debate going on right now, because we have to fight about something. And since we now have since we now have all the politics over, Steve, we got a debate right. about something. Yeah, everything's fixed, right? Everything's fixed. So now it's time for a new debate. Okay. And this is the new enemy of this country. Okay. And that is how you stand in the shower. <laughs> what? That's the new debate, and you better stand the right way, or you know what? You're off this show. Well, don't we all just we all bent over, right? And that how we do it? Yeah. That's where I start. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about. <laughs> 
I don't even want to. I can't, but let's not. Let's, it's just now, I, now I, I get why my wife looks at me weird every time I take a shower. I yeah, thought that was just how we all did I, it. I, I don't really <laughs> want to picture this. Okay, that the, Too first, late. the first thing you go is like, you know what? It's time to turn on the giant bidet. I don't really <laughs> want to picture that. Uh, there's a woman. Her name is Alice. And she set this whole debate off because she tweeted, quote, it's normal to shower with your back to the shower, right? Not facing the water. And apparently, uh, you know, some people were like, what is wrong with you, Alice? Are you a terrorist? I'm confused. I, when I shower, I go both ways. Yeah. Hey, oh, I, look at you. You spin. You know, you're, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, I put my back when I'm washing my back parts. And then I turn around my front when I'm washing my front parts. I don't want the shower to hit all of my body. Oh, Isn't weird. that how we do it? Um, That's actually not how I do it. Uh, when I okay. wash my front, I get the water on the back, so I get all the soap everywhere. Then I turn around to rinse off, and then I do the backside uh, when I'm facing uh, towards the water. Okay, so, but you're still spinning. Yes, yes. Well, absolutely. here's the but here's the question. I think when you are soaping yourself up, what are you? How are you facing? Or your I, default? Like if you're because we wake up so early in the morning. Sometimes I just stand in the shower for a few minutes. Yeah, and just like uh, yeah, and I, I always have my back. Or the water hitting my back. See, I guess I, st- I, I hate to be the guy that's like, I'll do both. But there are most, more often than not, I do like the water hitting my back just to kind of like just decompress. But sometimes yeah. I do like getting splashed in the face. Oh. And so I'll just kind of like. Well, let I them- think, you know what? There's a lot of things you can do for that, sir. So I'll just close my eyes and just let the water hit my face. Is that, nice. are you sure that's what's happening? Yes, I'm okay. positive. Yeah. All right, very good. <laughs> I realize that I actually like looking towards the water, and that's only a problem when I'm dating somebody because they're always really tall, so the water never hits them. I just get it. I have to position the head lower. Oh, to okay. Me. So, so you it hits them all. That's weird. when you're in the romance stage where you think that taking showers together is great. I mean, normally, no, we're saving water. Yeah, no, no, that's all romance. I mean, really. So if you're with somebody, how many, how often are you no, taking a shower so. with them? Every weekend. You really? shower together? Really? Yeah, oh, it's, it's a requirement. Yeah, no. It's a requirement for my girlfriend. If I Was don't she shower. afraid of water? No. She just is like, we're, t- we're together. We're going to shower together. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, bonding. Yeah. Is it See, that would annoy me. Because I'd be like, I'm starting to get cold. Like, move out of the way. Yeah. Well, that's the funny thing to me is, is I don't care. I need the double showers. If we're going to do it, <laughs> double See, showers. See, that, 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 what you're doing right now <laughs> your with your hand hands and face, dude, are really. That's not the double shower look. That's wow. something that's in a thumbnail. All right, double shake weights. Uh, <laughs> again, that's a thumbnail. Yeah, well, it's a, the funny thing to me is I don't get cold. I don't really care that much, but she's always freezing. And I'm like, she's like, you're taking up the hallway. I'm like, well, you wouldn't have this problem if you didn't want to shower together. But right. it's, yeah, it's something she requires every every Saturday and Sunday. And you don't get busy in there? It's just like hanging out? Well, I mean, half the time. Oh, okay. Well, see, then that, then that's probably why. It's probably like, you know, hey, if it's half the time, then it's probably like, hey, let's, you know, she probably likes the shower. So Whereas- I always sit in the shower. I sit down for a while and just relax, and I stand up and spin front to back as I clean. You okay. sit like on the shower floor way down? Or do you okay. have to have a chair probably in there? Yeah. Like a stool? I wish I had one of those benches. Those are cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have one, but I, I had it when I was injured. I never thought of just using it regular. I love this text because it's the sweetest text, but it's like, this topic is stupid, but I love you guys, though. LOL. Aw. Well, okay, texter, <laughs> if it's stupid, what do you do? Or do you not shower because you're a unclean heathen? Wow. I they think said I, they loved us. I know. It doesn't mean they're not a heathen. Heathens love us. No, okay. Oh, yeah. Unclean people love us. Also, we, we appeal to everybody. <laughs> we can't do the whole uh, shower together thing because my wife thinks I, I, I use way too hot of water. When it comes oh, to showering, like okay. I pretty much turn it all the way until it's like I'm borderline burning myself. Mm-hmm. See, that's the uh, exact opposite of ours. She uses the scolding water, and I'm, I always turn it down. And she gets mad at me. <laughs> you don't like hot water? I mean, it's, I like the hot water. Might be right. you know, but hot water? Like hot water? To the point of where it's like turning my turning my skin red. I'm good. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, Steve. Again, he likes the hot water when he's bent over in the shower. Yeah, first thing, fair. you know, it really. Yeah. Get you going. Uh, well, I, I, I feel like, does it matter where your shower caddy is? Because I feel like wherever my shower caddy is, where all my stuff is, that's the way I'm facing most of the time. That's a good point. Yeah, because it's easy access. Yeah. 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 For the new place, that, the new shower we got, of course, it's new, it was new then, but now I've had it for years. But it was the first time I had the shower caddy facing away from the, the shower because I don't know why we didn't have the room to put it where the shower was for some reason. So we had the shower caddy at the far end of the shower. And that's now the way I'm facing how about Photog Jim? Says, been married 10 years. We still shower together regularly. Another person, wife and I, shower every weekend together. Been married for 20 years. More often than not, something happens. See, that's the key. I get that. But, you know, if, 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 here's the thing. If I don't have Danny's success rate of 50 50, I ain't doing it. 
Well, it's hard to make it happen, especially if like your wife's in California and you're in That's Washington. Also true. Are you gonna like FaceTime? <laughs> Zoom you shower. Could. You could. They have those protective slip covers. BJ is gonna slip and fall, guys. We don't want this to happen. Okay, <laughs> well, I mean, so basically, I'm just by myself looking at some, my, looking at my wife being by herself. That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, she's sitting on the couch just watching you. Yeah, <laughs> what, I mean, what is that? That would be awkward. What the hell is wrong? I mean, if I'm gonna do that, isn't there like better ways to do it than have to do it in the shower? Okay, guys. Okay. Stop, stop, you know, my life is what it is. <laughs> uh, yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. For how many years does a replicant live in the movie Blade Runner? How many years? Uh, five years. No. Six years. No. Nine years. No. That's a really geeky question, Steve. Four. You had to really watch the movie. Yes, four. Good job. I remember. Good you job. Really, you want a shot at beating Steve? All right, you got it. 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, there's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and, and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or, or bankruptcy. Uh, there's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney and right my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy my job is to help you to, to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you what benefits it's going to have for you and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. With prices soaring at the pump, filling up can be stressful. That's why Discover has your back with cash back. Use Discover to earn 5% cash back at gas stations and Target, now through June, on up to $1,500 in purchases when you activate. We know every dollar matters right now, but you can count on us. Get up to $75 cash back this quarter with your Discover It card. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash rewards.